John, it's been quite the uh, the run that you're on right now, man. I got to ask, what do you think the, the key is to this this winning streak that you put together? Um, you know, I think one thing I changed a lot is I, I drill so much more now. We used to spar a lot, and that was great for getting my timing down and everything. But I drill my stand up so much more. I drill my wrestling, and I drill my jujitsu. So I think I'm a little sharper with everything than I used to be. This feels like a big fight, I think, too. You know, as you've been building up. Um, this seems like the moment that I think people have been looking forward to. Does this feel like a, a big fight for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I saw Lovato get into Bellator, you know, one of my first thoughts, uh, I could see that being a fight, you know, down the road. We're both big jiu-jitsu guys. And then, uh, you know, he's just knocking people down one at a time. And uh, then, you know, uh, after after he fought my buddy Honeycutt, after that fight, you know, it was pretty clear to me like, it just makes sense for us to fight we were both getting ready to go to the uh, ADCC world championships you know uh, or I think just getting back from like it just makes sense for for us to fight you know at this point and uh, and I uh, like the Bellator's made it happen break them down I mean as you said I mean I think people look at him primarily as this great you know jiu-jitsu player but I mean what do you think what, what, what's been the key to success what do you see in him you know, obviously being a you know being a guy that's in the jiu-jitsu world, I've known who he is for a long time because of that, um, because of how good he is in jiu-jitsu, and because of he you know places or wins just about everything. Um, and in my mind, when he got into Bellator, I said, like, okay, he's just a jiu-jitsu guy. His first fight, he fought a guy who was like five eight, and he need him in the face. Of course, you know that didn't really uh, surprise me. Um, but then, uh, like I said, Chris Honeycutt's a friend of mine. I've sparred with him a lot. I've trained with him a lot. A lot. And uh, I was in Honeycutt's corner for that fight. And uh, seeing that firsthand that, you know, Lovato's not afraid to stand and strike. And he has solid striking. It, you know, really opened my eyes. And I'm glad that uh, I was there for that to, to see that, you know, this is a guy that's not just one-dimensional. And um, he, he knows how to wrestle. He knows how to defend takedowns. And he knows how to strike. So he's a well-rounded guy. And I think um, – you know, it's, it's time for me to, you know, I fought Kendall, who's a well-rounded guy. I fought uh, uh, Halsey, who's a well-rounded guy. And a lot of people in my career, but, you know, my last fight, the guy was pretty much mainly a striker. So this is uh, interesting to be able to use every aspect of my skills again. Both of you guys definitely aren't well-rounded fighters, but I think most fans are like, I'm sure we'd like to see those two on the ground. <laughs> so I'm just curious, I mean, when you go into a fight like this, do you have to be careful because I can see you know the, the right approach is you just take what's there, right? But does party you kind of go, I sure would like to go to the ground too, <laughs> man. This would be some fun. You know, absolutely. Uh, early on in my career, my second pro fight, I fought Roberto Traven, and uh, he was uh, you know world champion jiu jitsu. He was uh, ADCC champ, and um, I mean I, I was very new to the sport, you know, and I fought him, and I was kind of the joke out of there by like, man, I kind of want to prove that I can survive on the ground with this guy, but I'm not going to be dumb. And, uh, you know, I knocked him out in the first round. But this is a different time in my career where I, I can go to the ground with these guys. You know, I am that level in jiu-jitsu now. So, um, so I'm not afraid to go there. And I know that a lot of people are wanting to see that, wanting to see that high level in MMA and see it work um, against another high-level guy. So, you know, I'm not afraid to be there with him. The middleweight division is looking pretty strong right now, but he thinks – if he beats you, he gets a title shot. Are you looking at this fight the same way? Do you feel like if you beat him, you should get a title shot? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, tr I try not to think too far ahead, but I, I think he's right. You know, the winner of us, uh, you look at Brandon Halsey, he pretty much ran through this division until he got body kicked uh, in a fight that he was dominating. And then uh, I, you know, dominated him in a round, didn't get hit. Um, then you got Kendall Grove, who's another tough guy, and I go out there and I finish him in a round. Um, you know, I think I'm definitely right there on the cusp, but I gotta say the same thing for Lovato. I mean, who, what he, ha what hasn't he done to impress everybody? You know, um, so I definitely think the winner of this fight should be getting a title shot. But right now, I'm just focused on this fight. You mentioned it, there's a lot of possibilities here, uh, as you guys are well rounded. But when you play this thing out in your head, how does this fight go down? Uh, you know, uh, as you can see from my career, I'm, I'm a big finisher. I like getting out of there as soon as I can. Uh, but this is one of those fights that I just I have a hard time seeing a way that there's a finish. It could be, and I, I'll be very happy with that. But I see this being a three-round, hard-fought fight that uh, I come out on top of.